Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a Twitch stream. So as you can see, I'm on the Gaging Gadgets Twitch channel and I'm currently offline. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is go to obsproject.com and check the description for the links that I described. I'll have a good detailed write-up down there. And we're just gonna go to download OBS Studio. Make sure you get the correct version for your operating system. I'm on Windows 10, so I'll just get the Windows 7 Plus. So while this is downloading, I'll kind of just describe OBS Studio for you. OBS Studio allows you to take multiple sources of video and audio and then kind of put them together into a stream. So I can take the video from a game, overlay the video from my camera, and then maybe put some text and a logo, and then that can be pushed to Twitch in a stream. It's very easy to control and set up. So now we're just going to install OBS. I recommend including the different sources because these are going to be the sources of videos. So the real sense source is the source for my webcam. Make sure that you include all the plugins that you need to have a full all encompassing stream. So now that it's completed installing, I'm just going to make sure that the box is checked to launch OBS studio and then just click finish. All right. So now that OBS studio is running, I recommend going through the auto configuration wizard makes it really simple and you can choose what you're gonna be using OBS for. Streaming, which would be for Twitch or YouTube, or just recording, which is gonna be recording your games or recording videos like I'm recording right now. So I'll just choose optimize for streaming. On this page, we pick the resolution and frame rates. I'm fine with 1080. And then here we select the streaming service. So it's very easy to connect OBS to Twitch just by clicking the stream key link. You must be logged into Twitch, but what it's going to do is it's going to bring you to a secure key that you put into OBS where OBS is allowed to stream live to Twitch. So we'll just click that. I'll give you an example. So as you can see, I can select show key, and this is all within my account. Gaging gadgets right here, show key. I understand, and then this is my stream key right here. I'm going to copy that. open up OBS and then paste it. And then from there, I'll just select the region that I'm in, United States and next. So now what it's going to do is optimize, figure out the best settings for my location and where I'm trying to stream, which is the United States primarily. So now that it's completed optimizing the settings, we just select apply settings and we're good to go. Now that OBS is kind of set up, we have to configure all the sources and create the scenes. That's how this works. So a scene will be a group of sources. I can have a bunch of different groups of sources configured in separate scenes. So say I only want to stream the game, then I want to switch over to the game with my webcam. I can easily do that by creating a different scene, which each of those different configurations and just selecting it and it'll switch. So let's go ahead and create one scene to get you started. Press the add button. Then I'm going to go to display capture create new, and then I'm gonna select this display that I'm currently using. And if you wanted to add the source of the game, you just hit the plus button, go to game capture, and then in here we can select the actual application that we wanna configure. So you could decide, you know, any full screen application, if you're playing a game, it's gonna be full screen, specific window, you could decide those kind of configurations, very configurable. And then also we can, you know, add an image. This is how you have like a logo in the background or something like that. So as you can see, I've selected the Gage and Gadgets logo. I can kind of just slide that around wherever I want it. So if I want it right there, it's good to go. Add some text. And as you can see, you select the text that you want. The font. Comic Sans is the best font in the world. Select the color. And then as you can see, I got it right here. I can just drag and drop to make it bigger. And that's gonna be my Twitch stream. Now we'll go ahead and get started. I'll start streaming. And as you can see, we're live. It could have been a lot quicker than creating those scenes and profiles, but I wanted to help you with learning how to do that. 
And that's how you start a Twitch stream. Real quick, I want to put a link in the description for how to get Twitch Prime for free. So check that out, as well as how to get free bits and stuff like that. I have other tutorial videos. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.